Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another hotel review. And today we are going to be reviewing the Four Points by Sheraton Manhattan Soho Hotel. So let's waste no time and let's get right into it. Welcome everyone to another hotel review. I am actually really excited to be doing this once again on our second episode. Um, and today I have a very good hotel. Actually, really pleased with my stay at this hotel. And what hotel am I talking about? I am talking about the Four Points by Sheraton, Sheraton Manhattan Soho Hotel, which is located in Manhattan, in Soho, <laughs> in New York City, for those who don't know. Uh, this hotel is actually located at 66 Charlington Street in New York, New York. Um, I actually stay at this hotel, I believe it was back in late April, I believe in 2021. Um, I was, of course, always working. I was over there doing some videos for Meet the Queen. If you don't know about that, uh, you can go check it out my Instagram account and learn more about it. Uh, but that's what I was doing. Um, and so let's just get started from the beginning. Um, I was quite pleased from the beginning with that hotel. I wasn't too sure about what to expect, even though I did saw some images online, etc. But of course, just because you see an image doesn't necessarily mean it's the same thing in person. Um, I remember one of the good things about this hotel actually was it was right off the train station. So I got all right off the train, tra you know, train station, and I just had to literally walk down the street and make a right and the hotel was right there out the corner well right off the corner so it wasn't really that bad i really enjoyed the easy transportation i believe i took the one train uh, all the way over there but i don't actually recall but i believe it was the one train uh, right off the bat the amenities include for the whole hotel include free wi-fi gym restaurant breakfast parking laundry housekeeping business service bar, room service, and 24-7 front desk. Honestly, some of the stuff is kind of like obvious and basic in hotels. And about the parking, not a lot of hotels in New York City offer parking due because it's not really space. So i really surprised that they even offer parking. I necessarily didn't see like an actual parking lot or anything. Maybe they have an affiliate with another parking garage and make it accommodations for you if you do have a park. Um, your car, but if you're in New York City, you know that you don't really need a car to go around. Um, lobby decoration. So when I walked right into it, the whole feel, the whole hotel was very corporate feel. Um, what do I mean by that? By that, I mean it was very, very basic, very clean, very sharp, nothing too crazy. There wasn't really a much artistic vibe like the previous hotel review that I did uh, with Selena which was a little more hippie more artistic this one was a little more plain um, really really mean business I mean the Sheraton's are really business oriented so it kind of makes sense for them to be very clean and sharp and very very corporate looking so I wasn't really surprised I mean if they had uh, it was kind of small compared to other hotels that I've been in the city. Um, I wasn't, they also had a restaurant next door. And then it was just there. It wasn't really like, it didn't really have much going on there. It was just kind of like the, the desk. And then there was like a little, kind of like a living room area, which was kind of like the waiting room. Um, and that's it. It didn't really have much going on down there. Um, the check-in experience. Check-in was actually really easy. Um, I believe I got, I call in to do an early check-in. They were like, oh, that's okay, you, you know, just come by, we'll check you in. Um, it's very easy, you just give them my ID and my credit card, and they were, it was honestly so fast that I honestly don't even remember <laughs> any of it. Uh, once we got into the elevator, we went up into my room. Um, I wasn't too sure how the room size were going to be, because, you know, it's New York City, and you're not sure whether the two, you know, the rooms are gonna be either decent size or crunch up into something very small um, I was really pleased I got a room with one king bed uh, non-smoking it had a king size bed and it got 184 square feet so compared to my Selena hotel from my previous review this one was definitely a 
better size compared to the last one. Um, I really enjoy it because it had a king bed and I still have room for to do stuff. I, I didn't feel crowded, I didn't feel crunched up into just one little thing. Um, the decoration, uh, surprisingly, it did feel a little bit warmer compared to the rest of the hotel, outside the hotel. The, the actual room, I actually did enjoy the, um, what's it called, the bed board, the headboard of the bed. It was nice, uh, it did have some little bit of decoration. Of course, the whole feel of the room was very warm, um, so it was very, cozy to make it look like compared to the rest of the hotel feel so it was it felt very nice really warm still kind of like copper feel into it but somewhat accommodated um the amenities of this specific room was the tv the telephone desk coffee and tea maker once again i feel like that's stuff that usually almost all hotels have um i personally do not use any other stuff um i'm not sure if some people use their tea or coffee machine um but i did did i remember um for the breakfast bar i'm not sure as i remember saying they at the beginning of the um next to the lobby there was a restaurant um and they actually have a uh, i think the restaurant is part of the hotel itself too so i think the breakfast area was actually at the restaurant so that was kind of nice i didn't use it though i didn't have time um hotel room review so for the view from this room i mean it wasn't really that bad i mean it wasn't like oh my god he, no uh it was just outside um just looking outside it was there was a nice kind of like a brick building right across from it uh from my view from my from my room so they didn't really give me it wasn't bad like oh my god like sometimes you kind of have the back rooms and you get like the back of the hotel which is basically like nothing um, but I got the front view and I was able to see the street view and it was it was okay it kind of brought in some natural light so that was kind of good um, but I wasn't wired by it you know at the end of the day I would just there just to have a place to stay overnight so it wasn't really that bad um, of course you know I know some hotels that have some great views but I doubt this hotel actually have those accommodations for those five stars view but it wasn't that bad um kind of give you a nice new york feel to it once if you ever hear new york city you know what i mean the bathroom okay so for the bathroom um it was actually kind of really nice it was spacious um i was just thinking about like i don't actually remember using it as much um compared to the one i did in selena but it was honestly very big it was comfortable um i know some of the people that i interviewed they used the bathroom and they're you know it was plenty of good size for them to do a makeup catch up and sarah um so it wasn't really that bad i'm telling you the size of this room was actually decent it didn't feel crunchy it was kind of big for for the price that i paid which i'll go over later um, which I'm gonna now. Uh, the price range, so for this hotel, I actually pay $116.06, which is not bad for one night. I mean, look at the content, look at the, <laughs> at the hotel room. Um, the actual bedroom was actually $98.10, and the rest was technically tax. So the actual room cost me $98.10. In total, was $116.06, which wasn't that bad overall experience honestly i wouldn't mind it i would honestly stay there and probably use the rest of different um, amenities that included because i didn't really use it, most of them um, of course you know the free wi-fi really helps um for example the gym the restaurant um i don't think i ever done laundry in a hotel before but i definitely something that i would like to actually get at at some point um in the service service business center sarah um i do know that when i was checking out i had to charge my phone but i needed to do the checkout um but i didn't want to do it in my room because otherwise i'll be get um, late fees for checking out late so what i ended up doing was i actually went downstairs and they had like a computer right next in the lobby little department um right next to the exit so i was actually can i 
I was kind of happy that I was actually I was able to use that little desk area to kind of plug in my phone and wait for my short for my phone to charge in a decent percentage for me to leave um, and they didn't really say anything I was honestly quite surprised um, and I was using the computer in the meanwhile so I think that was really helpful on my way out so that sells my trip so overall experience, I mean, I definitely liked it. Uh, like I said before, I definitely would like to go there again and try out the rest of the services. And if I need like a quick hotel that I'm not, like I don't want to stay in a very cheaty hotel or I don't want to be staying in a very luxurious hotel, this is a very decent, especially for that price that I paid, it wasn't that bad. Um, so for this hotel, I will give it, I will give it a three stars out of five. Um, maybe three and a half I will give it three and a half let's not be too bad uh, because it wasn't really like oh my god crazy but it wasn't oh my god bad it was it was good it was decent it's a Sheraton so you do have some expectations that they're gonna be clean um, very corporate looking like I mentioned before throughout this video so it wasn't that bad um, and yeah, I think that will be it. Uh, if you guys want to check out the hotel itself, you guys surely check out the Instagram account at Four Points, which I'll be tagging all over social media. Um, and if you guys want to check out the actual room, you guys can go to their website at www.fourpoints.com. All right, guys, that's it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys wanna keep up with more upcoming hotel reviews, product reviews, uh, and more crazy videos of mine, <laughs> make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Make sure you guys check out the rest of the actual review on my website at habertis.com. Make sure you like this video and give it some love also on our social media accounts, which I will link it right here. Um, and yeah. I think that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I guess I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.